My name is Darren Holmes, and you're looking at a multi-sim simulation of an AC circuit. We have a 1K ohm resistor in series with a 1 microfarad capacitor. We're feeding it with a function generator, and you can see we have an Agilent function generator that looks just like equipment you'd see on your student bench in front of you. To this I have hooked up an oscilloscope looking at the input or the output of the function generator and the voltage across my capacitor. And when you take a look at the instrument it's a Textronic oscilloscope. Looks just like an oscilloscope you would see on the bench in front of you. So today I want to show you where to find your own copy of National Instruments Multi-SIM Student Edition, how to install it, and how to get a license for it. So bringing up your favorite browser and in Google type in Multi-SIM Student Download. The first item to come up is what is Multi-SIM and that's on the National Instruments website. So you can see it says are you a student who needs multi-sim software start your free trial and over here we have a box that says get student download and you'll notice at the bottom of my screen it says NI Circuit Design Suite 141 education.zip so go ahead and click on that link. And the next dialog box to come up, it says what should Firefox do with this file? We want to save the file. Go ahead and click on OK. It's a 750 megabyte download. And this is going to download the free trial version. It's going to come up and say it's good for seven days, but you can extend that for a full 30 days. Once the 30 days has expired, you will need to purchase your own copy of Multisim Student Edition. So going back to Google, I typed in Purchase Multisim Student, and you'll notice one of the first things to pop up over here on the right hand side is NI Multisim Student Edition Download, $60.95 from Studica and that is in Canadian dollars. What I want to direct you to first is how to purchase and activate Multisim Student Edition and this is from Knowledge at National Instruments. So go ahead and click on that link. And it brings up the National Instruments how to purchase and activate student edition website. So somebody was having an issue and it was a student looking to purchase Multisim student edition and was wondering where to get it from. And under posted solutions you can see NI does not sell Multisim student edition directly to students. So the student must purchase the software online through one of our distributors like Studica. So coming back to our purchase multi-sim, it looks like you're going to have to click on the link at the side here for Studica. So when that website comes up, you can see it's National Instruments Multi-Sim Student Edition Download, Sale Price $60.95, Purchase Download. So go ahead and click on that link. And you'll notice it puts it into a shopping cart for you. So if you view the shopping cart, you can see it comes up and shows you the product and the price. Please note here it says student, faculty, nonprofit verification is required. So upon completion of this order, you will be prompted to email, fax, or mail your student or faculty or nonprofit verification. So keep in mind that is going to take some time for them to verify this. I also went to DigiKey and did a search on Multisim. 
and they do have it. So this is the DigiKey product part number. You'll notice the manufacturer lead time is 10 weeks and it's $67.33. So I went on to click check lead time and you can see the shipping date is 6, so that's June the 9th of 2020 and right now it's March the 31st. So multi-SIM does seem to take uh, 10 weeks from uh, DigiKey and I'm not sure why it would take that long because we only want a serial number. So right now it looks like uh, Studica is the place to uh, purchase multi-SIM. So I'm going to continue on now and show you how to install the multi-SIM student trial edition. So I'm going to start by going to Windows Explorer and navigating to my downloads folder and in it you can see I have uh, NI Circuit Design Suite 14.1 education.zip so I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and it shows me the contents and in the contents we're looking for a program called autorun.exe so just go ahead and double click on it now it's going to tell you that it's a compressed folder and it says for the application to run properly it is recommended that you first extract all files so we're going to extract all so click on that it's going to select a default uh, folder location so just uh, accept it and say extract So when it's done extracting it, it's going to open up another Windows Explorer dialog box. So you can click on the first one and just close it. So these are the extracted files. And in here we have autorun.exe. So go ahead and double click on it. And it's going to bring up this uh, installation dialog window. So where it says install NI Circuit Design Suite 14.1, go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to come up with the user account control dialog box. Uh, it's a national instruments installer. Uh, so it's a verified publisher. So we're just going to go ahead and click on yes. Now at this point you can close Windows Explorer and you can see the National Instruments uh, dialog box is up on your screen so it does say to exit all programs before running the setup and you might want to disable virus scanning utilities so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next under user information please type in your full name So underneath organization, I recommend you put in the name of your college. So your full name and your organization are going to show up whenever you create a new design in Multisim. So the default is to install the product using the following serial number. We don't have a serial number, so we're going to install this product for evaluation. So click on that button, and then click on Next. It's going to select a default directory, so I suggest you leave it at that and just click on Next. It's going to ask you what features you want to put in here. Uh, we're not going to install LabVIEW or Elvis. So just leave everything as is and select Next. Now I'm not on the internet, so I'm not going to search for important messages and updates. So I'm going to uncheck that box. So I'm going to click on Next. Now it comes up with two license agreements, one's for National Instruments, the other one's for Microchip. 
Now it brings up the microchip one because it can simulate embedded controllers for microchip. So once you've reviewed both of those license agreements, you have to select I accept so that you can click on the next box. Now it's recommending you disable Windows Fast Startup to prevent problems when installing or removing hardware. So leave it disabled and click on Next. Okay, so now you're going to get a new dialog box come up called Install Source. This is for National Instruments Elvis MX software. I'm not going to install it, so I'm going to click on Cancel. And as you can see, it says uh, NI Circuit Design Suite has been installed, so just go ahead and click on Next. And now it wants you to restart your computer to complete this operation. So just go ahead and click on Restart. So once your computer has finished rebooting, you'll notice you do not get any new icons on your desktop. So you need to go to the lower left-hand corner and click on the Start button. Up at the top of the screen, you can see it has Recently Added. And right at the very top, I have NI Multisim 14.1. So you can just hold down the left mouse button on NI Multisim 14.1, and you can drag it over and drop it on your desktop. Once it's over here, you can reposition it to any location that you would prefer. So I'm going to start up Multisim 14.1 by double-clicking on the screen icon. The first window to come up is the license status, and you can see I'm in evaluation mode, and I only have seven days remaining. So I'm going to just launch Multisim. It now gives me the option of extending the evaluation. So it says you have seven days remaining to evaluate the software. Would you would like to extend the evaluation period? Now if you click on yes, it brings up the NI Evaluation Wizard dialog box. It gives you a computer ID. So this is the number that you have to send to National Instruments. Now you can see, in my case, the wizard cannot connect to National Instruments because I'm not connected to the Internet. So I'm going to have to do this at a later date. So for right now, I'm just going to click on Next. I guess National Instruments is going to send us a 20-character evaluation code that you're supposed to enter in here. And like I said, I was not available to hook up to the internet at this time, so I'm just gonna click on Next. Definitely wants that 20 character code, so I'm gonna click on OK and Cancel. So this is the screen you should get when you uh, start Multisim. Now keep in mind, I've only got seven days left in my evaluation. So you should have a design. And this is your design window where you'll enter parts and use instruments. So if you look down the uh, right-hand side of your screen, you have many instruments showing up. One of the instruments at the bottom is a Tektronix oscilloscope. 
So I'm going to show you how to use these in my next video. Uh, my next video is going to be how to use uh, multi-sim for AC circuit simulation and how to simulate an oscilloscope. So please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified when these videos become available. And I just want to thank you for watching.